This guide is dedicated to my dear friend Soul Dude, who is confused by my softball mastery. The softball, with six grenades that one shot pilots on hit. The softball is a beautiful powerhouse in the right hands, but a clunky misfortune in others. Through this guide, I hope to help your softball gameplay become more graceful and powerful. There's a big stigma surrounding the softball. Players who use it can't aim and use it as a crutch. If that were the case, I would have already Gen 10 the Cold War and never have made this guide. As you begin to use the softball, you'll come to understand that the lines on the crosshair help very little in hitting targets. Aiming down sights is a good starter, for sure, but you shouldn't be trying to mathematically calculate how to hit enemies. Like you're some kind of combat math teacher. You should feel more like a basketball player, serving from the three-point line. By developing his muscle memory through practice, a basketball player becomes more consistent at hitting shots, direct or indirect. As a basketball player would, let the projectile guide your motions and come to understand its speed and weight. This will take time. And of course, what is a three-point throw without a little bit of backboard? Perhaps you watch those silly frag montages where someone hits a dead-on grenade and the EDM music rings out with the kills like fireworks. Never strive for that. That is a secondary tool in a skilled softballer's hands. Instead, use movement to your advantage. Stay high above the ground and aim for grounded targets. It may be hard to stay highly mobile as a controller user. I've often read that controller users struggle with the Grenadier class. If this is the case for you, Soul Dude, then I implore you to start using keyboard and mouse. The added mobility will be worth relearning the controls. Due to the nature of the softball as an underused and overhated weapon, many players will struggle to regain their footing after seeing a grenade indicator show up near their crosshair. Use that learned hopelessness that the grenades create to keep your foes grounded and abuse that ground as a massive backboard for your deadly three-point shot. This is easy for grunts and slow pilots, but what about highly mobile ones? You can abuse the fact that every player must touch a wall or floor eventually in order to regain their jumps and aim for where they're going to be when they do. Direct hits are good for sure, but never expect them to work. It may be worth it to shoot one or two grenades and switch to your pistol. By selecting your softball, your other weapon choices are contextualized immensely. In combat, softball users will often struggle with being out of ammo, too close to an enemy pilot, or being in a claustrophobic space. By selecting your secondary and add-ons to accommodate these flaws, you can maximize your effectiveness. For your secondary, may I suggest a quick finisher for the situations where your empty grenade launcher can't kill a player on the brink of death. A reactive and consistent tool for close range damage. A weapon so useful for the average claustrophobic engagement that you'll switch to it with glee. I am practically begging you to use the RE45. And you better not hesitate to switch. A common problem for a new softballer is the idea that you should finish a mag before switching. This may be true for other weapons, but for the softball, a mag doesn't mean anything at all. You should be using the RE45 in every situation that the softball can't handle. As for add-ons for the softball itself, for the love of god, please run reload speed. I don't care what the second add-on is, but the reload speed on the softball, by default, is so incredibly slow that you'll find yourself low on ammo 24-7 without it. As for your anti-titan, ordnance, and tactical, make sure it's something you know well. For me, it would be the pulse blade, deployment charges, and charge laser. For you, soul dude, your mastery of grapple will carry you a thousand miles with this thing. Getting to high areas quickly and keeping that momentum will make you a monster. Thank you for watching this guide. I will not be making more of these. Um, I mean, maybe I will, I don't know. Okay, I, I made this for Soul Dude, and then it kind of grew into something of its own, and it, now I, now I kind of, I don't know, whatever.